getting old. It is a cool and rainy day here in North Idaho. Jeremy is getting all of the water off our Vantech flooring back here. We're so happy we went with this flooring because we have had some serious spring rains. We're going from 90 degrees to pouring down rain within 24 hours. So we are getting ready to get our roof on our house, which is going to be awesome. No more sweeping water off the floor. But before that, we've got some finishing touches that we've got to get done. All right, so Melissa and I have a whole bunch of things to get done today in preparation for our roof being put on. One of those things is getting our double top plates put in place and installed where we currently don't have them. So we're going to get started here in the master bedroom, work our way around, and we will uh, clearly brush over the parts or the walls where we already have a double top plate. No, I think we should redo the double top plate. Make it a triple plate? Yeah. Let's do that. All these double top plates and having all these tiny little weird random sections is an awesome way for us to use up some of the scrap wood. Jeremy is getting all of the double top plates on in our master wing. I am still trying to squeegee the water off this floor. It's like every time I think I've got it, it kind of pools up again. It's so water resistant that it just sits on top, which is great. We're happy about that, but it does make for a lot of work. I'm so excited to get this roof on so I don't have to worry about this floor anymore. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this is probably the boringest project ever. This actually beats laying down the fabric in the garden. Double top plates. Are you not entertained? No, Jeremy, we're not. Are you not entertained? We're not. We're not entertained. Sorry. So he's going to continue that and I'm going to go check on our garden. We Enjoy planted, yourself. I will. We planted our garden probably about a month ago and I want to go see how everything's doing. And a few of you guys have been asking for garden updates as well. So we're going to check that out. So welcome to our garden space. Obviously not a very beautiful day, but we are into our first week of June. This is how our garden looks. This is what we're used to our garden looking like the first week of May because we came from Washington State. So this is definitely a delayed garden for us, but everything's coming up, everything's growing, so we're happy. This bed looks the worst. It's our berry bed. So we had 25 strawberry plants in here. They were all looking really good. And then Phyllis, our little black lamb, got into the garden space because somebody left the gate open. And she ate half the strawberries and then she ate the top off every single blueberry bush. So we're pretty sure that she killed the blueberries. We've got our salad bed here. So we've got some butter crunch lettuce, some red rosa lettuce, and then some spinach. Phyllis also decided to completely annihilate two heads of the butter crunch spinach. Luckily, greens grow fast. I think that we are about ready to start making salads. 
which is awesome because then we can just make big giant salads every single day. Okay, this is our power greens bed. I've got blue curl kale, Swiss rainbow chard, and arugula. I like to keep all these things going all winter long. So in Washington, we were able to be eating the greens all through frost and snow and everything. You would just brush the snow off the kale and it was perfectly fine. This stuff was cultivated over in Scotland. So it's very, very cold hardy. We're gonna see how it does in Idaho, but hopefully it'll carry us through at least fall, but winter would be amazing. Okay, this bed is green beans, yellow wax beans, and our sweet peas. These are the kids' favorite. These should be growing well over this trellis in the next month or so. But it's just really fun because kids can go out here and they just eat them like candy. We're pretty excited about these. Beans are just popping up. I still have a few that are like just breaking the ground. But we should be in green beans in about 45 days. This bed here is all of our root vegetables. So we've got rainbow carrots and then some Goliath giant orange carrots in here. We've also got yellow and red beets and then radishes as well. So the radishes are actually good to go now. We were able to eat them. The beets and the carrots have a long ways to go. The carrots are just coming up. So it's just little green buds. It kind of looks like grass right now. This bed is our glass gem rainbow corn. That is my favorite thing to grow. The kids just love it in the fall. It's just fun. It's more ornamental, but we can also make popcorn or cornmeal out of it. And then we have our Asian cabbage. This is what I use to make all of our kimchi with. Super excited about that. I've never, ever been able to grow it before in Washington. It would obviously get too hot before it matured and then everything would bolt, but out here it's thriving. So I'm super excited about being able to grow some of these cold weather crops that I struggled with over in Washington. This is our peppers and tomatoes. I'm growing Roma tomatoes for salsa and then cherry tomatoes just because they're amazing and then all kinds of hot peppers which will also go into our salsa. We didn't get to do any canning last year so I cannot wait for this bed to mature and we actually already have some little cherry tomatoes that are forming so it's really exciting. Final bed is our potatoes and our cucumbers. All of our cucumbers actually froze in a frost so I had to completely replant them. They came up last week. Some of them are just starting to get their true leaves on them. And our potatoes are absolutely thriving. These are all Yukon Gold. They're our territorial seed potatoes. I've never actually bought seed potatoes before this year. Absolutely thrilled with them. They're doing so well. We only put these in the ground maybe two weeks ago and every single one came up. Also our orchard space is doing awesome. We've been mulching with all of the leftover hay and alfalfa from last haying season since we're about to hay our field again. But all of our bare root treats are doing really well. They're all leafed out. They bloomed, they blossomed, the bees came. We probably won't see any fruit from any of these trees this year, but we most definitely will see some, even if it's small fruit next year. And then the following year after that, we should be able to be eating apples and pears. So again, it's really nice to just get these trees in and know that they're growing. And they're gonna serve our family for a long time. Okay, so I think I've buggered off long enough. I better go back and help Jeremy at least see what he's doing. But yeah, devil top plates. Since Jeremy is stealing all of my pocket snacks, it's time to introduce our snack belt choice of the day. It's Kiki. Do you love me? Are we right? <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Anyway, can I just have one already? No, you can wait. Let me know you're so done. I've been dropping these out of my pocket like a giant pinata. I've been walking around here and Jeremy just keeps picking them up like he's Hansel and Gretel lost in the woods. But essentially these are ah! Jeremy! <laughs> <laughs> These are, you ripped the bag. They're the Croatian version of a now and later, but they're a little bit softer. So I guess I'd say they were the Croatian version of like a Starburst. They're soft like Starburst, right? So there's raspberry, strawberry, lemon, and orange. They're awesome. We've been eating them all day. Thank you so much for sending these over. Really fun to get a box from Croatia. The kids have been loving those snacks. They're really fun. Thanks.
Thank you, Heidi. You're welcome, Tim. So glad we squeegeed the floor. No <laughs> welcome, choice. Welcome to June Gloom in North Idaho. We've got to get it done. Press on. Keep going, Mama. Make it stop. <laughs> it's raining harder. This is great. It's good for the skin. Moisturizing. I don't think. I don't, I don't think that's how that works. Yeah. No. This totally sucks. All this rain and moisture is making my beard puffy. Yeah, it definitely looks puffy. It saves the rain. <laughs> Jeremy and I have invested a lot, not only in our very unconventional living space here in our barn, but also in our current home build. We want to make sure that those investments are protected, but we also want to make sure that we are getting the best price possible. As adults. <laughs> Summer fun includes saving money. Policy Genius is a free and easy way to see if you could be saving cash on what you're already paying for your home and auto insurance. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance all in one place. They can help you find coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. Getting started is easy. First, head over to policygenius.com slash goodsimpleliving and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius will take it from there. They'll compare rates from America's top insurers from Progressive to Allstate to find your lowest quotes. The Policy Genius team can look for ways to save you more, including bundling your home and auto policy. If they find you a better rate than what you're paying, they will switch you over for free. They've saved their customers on average $1,250 per year over what they were paying on home and auto insurance. Head to policygenius.com slash goodsimpleliving to get started now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Starting to feel like we're not getting through this lumber. Like it's the the endless pile of lumber. Like you take a piece and then a new piece appears. You say that because you're not the one who has to go to the store to buy more lumber when we run out. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Stop raining. <laughs> it's never going to stop. Ah. <laughs> the camera's all fogged up. Since there isn't a whole lot for me to do out here because we're doing double top plates, I'm literally just handing him a few pieces of wood and he doesn't really need me. Jeremy has given me the wonderful and sweet you're really wet don't touch me the really wonderful and sweet and loving <laughs> offer of going inside where it's warm it, where my babies and my wine reside it is horrible out here and right i told melissa a second ago that if we weren't working on a deadline trying to get all this stuff done yeah i'd be inside starting a fire right now even though it's june it's cold out here you can't <laughs> so tell but cold. my hands are freezing mine too i'm soaked because i have really thin leggings on and they're drenched so yeah, I'm really cold. However, although he has made that lovely offer, I'm gonna stay out here and be miserable with him Aww. because we're doing this together, because Daddy. Because marriage. Because marriage is about being miserable together. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's the last two by four piece. Is it? Oh, there's one more here above the top. Ah, crud. I like your way of thinking. I'm very <laughs> optimistic. It's the last two by four. <laughs> no, it is. Is it? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, it is.
There it is. The sun. It's trying so hard. <laughs> it's never plugged in. All right, last two tiny little sections, and we are gonna go inside and put on dry clothes. Mm. Well, we've been out here for about seven hours. We're soaked, we're cold. The good news is the sun's coming out now. So now that we're done, it's clearing up. We have impeccable time. Really <laughs> I'm still going inside. Another lovely day, <laughs> another lovely June Idaho day. So today we are going to do one small little project because tomorrow is supposed to be a beautiful day and we don't wanna be working. We wanna be having fun with the kids. So we have another little small project that we need to quickly knock out and then we can actually go have some fun when the sun comes out. Deja vu all over again, mama. Cannot catch a break with the weather. You didn't need that saw for construction anyway. No. While Melissa and I wait for this, hopefully it's a passing shower to move on. Um, I came out earlier today with the zip sheathing that we recently purchased. We're going to try to get this jut out portion of the house that you see here behind me totally covered and sheathed again as soon as the rain stops. So I got everything already cut the length. All we have to do is get it up there, nail it in place, and we should be good. <laughs> Do you want to come inside the little pump house with me and wait? <laughs> Let me get this wrapped up and completed. Ugh. Frustrating. You look like Paddington Bear. How about now? You like that? It's a good look. That's not a good look at all. Huh? You like it? No. Hmm? All right. I think the rain stopped. We got our sheeting up on this side. You'll notice that we have a missing portion there at the very top of the wall. That's because once we get our trusses set in place, there's actually going to be a three foot footer that's on that that we're also going to have to get covered and sheathed. So we'll get tape put up on all of the seams on this side, then we'll move over and do the opposite end.
nice to finally have these sheeted. Makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. It looks like interior walls before. Alright, let's tape it off. Done. Done. <laughs> Six days to spare. Ooh. Let's take a day off. Day off? <laughs> What's that? We got all of our work done, so we've got all the kids loaded up here in the paddy wagon, and we are going to one of our favorite places to go recreate for the day. We have not gotten out for about two weeks as a family, so it's really exciting to just spend the whole day not working, going through some fun. What do you guys want to do first, the waterfall or the swinging bridge? Bridge. Swinging bridge? Waterfall. Waterfall? Bridge. 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 I think you've been outvoted, Eli. So this is a really great family-friendly spot. It is a very short hike and there's a bunch of really beautiful sights to see. You have a crazy waterfall. We'll get some of that on camera. And then also the swinging bridge, which is a favorite of our family. Navea is that right? Navea loves the swinging bridge. Oh, we're, do we're doing this again? We're doing it again. We're gonna take you guys along and we'll go check it out. So it's like a 90 some degree day, but we're completely in the shade. There's a breeze from the falls and better yet, we are not on the house foundation working. It is so nice to wake up in the morning and then go do something fun and not be building. Yeah, that's the whole reason we came here. It wasn't to work, it was to enjoy time with each other doing uh, or having these great experiences. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm so glad that we're just not building for a day. It's cool, we're in the mountains. It near is water. cool. It's it's got to be 15 degrees cooler. Here. Yeah, easy. It's so very nice. comfortable. And at the end of this hike, there's ice cream. A hike with an ice cream booth. It's the best hike ever. No snack belt necessary. Nope, the snack belt choice of the day is a waffle cone. Wow, those are some big nuts, Jeremy. I mean, I've seen bigger. You're not impressed? Nah. I think it's pretty nuts. Honey, there's plenty I don't believe. Plenty of things that mean nothing to me. But if there's one thing I know to be Oh, I know what you mean to me I know what you mean to me You've got a story I want to read You've got a meaning that matters to me I know there's many more to be seen Yes, I know. 
You keep me steady, ship on the sea. You anchor me down and you flow next to me. So this is a pretty incredible place. The waterfall is awesome. The swingy bridge is so fun. But we're gonna show you guys our absolute favorite reason for coming on this hike. To me, to me. Watching a baby. <laughs> ah, we can't get away from the bears, Kira. Run, run. Since we started this journey, there has been amazing days, challenging days, and flat out miserable days. But come rain or shine, we're out here because we want this. And as the saying goes, if you don't go after what you want, then you'll never have it. Hot, exhausting afternoons and bone aching frozen hours have brought us this far. The climb is what makes the view so spectacular. Even if that view is as simple as a bed full of tomatoes or an unfinished house or a field full of horses. The truth of the matter is that dreams don't come true until you wake up and you get after it, day after day after day. There will come a time when we aren't tirelessly constructing a homestead, but our hope is that there will never be a day when we don't have a dream or a goal, that relentless nagging voice that constantly whispers into our souls, get up, get out there go for it.